Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pakino Still Made, 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 Made. Where we have. Ooh, Lady Rizzo, she's a fox. Playing as the. Um, what's it called? Yeah, the British. And she is up against. The Canadian, Latouf, eh? Yes. Playing here as the Dak. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be interesting to see what the players will pull out of their pockets in terms of strategies. Lady Rizzo has gone for Indian artillery. Eh? Let's see how that'll work out for her. Oh, Italian infantry. Well, that may just have been a very good pick then, Indian artillery. <laughs> As her uh, Gorastatori, well, her Gurkhas will have the advantage against the Gorastatori squad, at least at long range. So, um, yeah. Let's see here. Yeah, also in case Atufi would be building defensive, then there's also plenty of artillery for a later it's to go for here. But then again, no one in the top really builds bunkers. That I've seen. However, uh, Ritsu, she has to prepare for that L6 slash 40 rush, which uh, hits about the six minute mark. But we'll see if Latouf will actually go for the L6 rush. That thing could be devastating. From what I've heard Dumay say, it is possible for the Brits to get out 180 gun at the six minute mark. And when you're up against two tanks, ah, it's not that great. So what Lady Ritsu here will have to do is probably have one of her, well, she only has one, her infantry section on standby in terms of weapon upgrades to get some boys AT rifles out to help cover said AT gun. But we'll see. Right about now, the Funk Soul Brother, check it out now. The map seems to be in favor of Latouf here, and he has not even gone for a bike. Point is being Man, by the enemy. The bike is like the kitten on this map here. So good. You can quickly get out to the corners of the map, cap and decap. Oh, no, 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 no. stand down, Latouf. The heavy machine gun is going to hit you here. Oh. Yeah, okay, the tooth trying to stay in the blind side here. But, oh, well, so much for trying. Ooh, gets caught. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is possible to find some blind spots here and there where you can return fire. Because while you can change the direction of of the heavy machine guns in the building you can't really tell it what window it should use which uh, means that uh, like say on this side here you want the heavy machine gun there but most times it sits in this window and first time i actually saw it sit in that window so you can sit here at this wall here clearing out the heavy machine gun garrison same goes with the, these buildings here. If there's a heavy machine gun in this building here overlooking your fuel, then you want to be standing there. And if there is a heavy machine gun in there, then you want to be standing here. And if there is a heavy machine gun in there, well, then you can s stay here with a vehicle like the weasel and it can shoot over the wall and the heavy machine gun will be sitting on the ground floor from what I've experienced, meaning that it can't shoot through the wall. Anyway, so yeah, on this map in particular, it pays off to know the heavy machine guns blind spots on these garrisons here. It can make a world of difference. Enemy forces have claimed our sector. Ah, lady, the fox has brought out her Holston. And... 
Why is okay? Assault. Grenadiers here. Mm. Yeah, I know what's uh, coming next for Latouf. This thing here, Panzerjäger Mechanized Group. That ought to be a good counter to the Pulsen. Also, Lady Ritsu. She now has one heck of a thick mortar sitting here, ready to level the entire town. Laying mines here. Prep them. We are losing grass for the victory point. You will get the decap. Thanks to a little bit of smoke. And yes, go. Nope. He's sticking around here. That mortar is going to flatten him. But he ran like a flock of seagulls. And to those of you who played GTA Vice City, man, that's an old game, then you probably got that reference. Unless you also enjoy uh, 80s music. Hmm. Not so keen on calling in the Panzerjägers, but rather trying to rely on mines to deal with the Polston. There were a mine around here. Yeah, there it is. Also, something's hiding over there. Polston being the Polston sitting there. And there we are. Locking in. That's one. Double one, double two, double three, L6 tanks. No, there were only two, and here they're coming for you. Oh well. So much for the Panzerjägers. Yeah, I completely forgot that he had the L6s. Huh. Lady Ritsu may also have forgotten, but now she knows! And there it is. The six pounder is on its way. And here's hoping that she's busy upgrading. No, 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 no. The Poston here will get wrecked by this. They'll get wrecked. Yeah. And there we are. Six pounders up. This infantry, no boys AT rifle, gets the Royal Engineer squad. Are there any boys on the way? They do not have the package on the way. They have now gotten the AT rifles. But Latouf has already completed his Deutsche Afrika Corps drive by. Yeah. And as you notice, the little uh, difference, the distance between the two. This thing here used its emergency speed. Greatly increases its speeds, but disables the weapon. Anyway, Lady Ritsu going for the trusty steward. In steward, we trust. Latouf managed to score a uh, kill on the uh, Polston and the Royal Engineers. So far, it is um, Lady Ritsu who has the most map control, at least so far. But for how long that will last? Well, it'll probably last a good deal because she is now getting the steward on her way. Mm hmm. Fifteen pin at long range, twenty-five medium. Would probably be able to do, yeah, scratch damage to the steward. At least if it's uh, one on one, rather than two on one. But we'll see once this little baby here comes out. Later, Ruto has also accumulated a very high munition income at the moment. Oh, here comes another pain! 
Another round of the pain train. Stuart's here, and I love this skin. Oh, that's the, quite the front armor. Yeah, but they are scratching it. But at this rate, it is the Stuart that win. Oh, could have perhaps used emergency speed to get out of there. Ooh. And there we are. Go, speedy speed boy. Oh man, the steward can keep up. Oh, that's just ridiculous. Come on. Okay, that was a bit disappointing on the uh, speed. On that ability. Enough for the steward to keep up. And Latouf calls in more assault grenadiers instead of AT. Why? He is up against Stuart. Why is he calling in those guys? Did he fat finger it? Oh man, I feel like this is such a huge mistake for Latouf. Why? Oh, 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 why is he charging it? He, come on, this he has to be a mistake. He thought he got the uh, boy, uh, yeah, the Panzerjägers and come on, it uh, has to be a mistake. He mistakenly thought that he called in the Panzerjägers. Otherwise, I don't see any reason for him to just blindly charge into the Stuarts. Oh man. What a blunder! Oh please, 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 please run. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, Latouf's KD, if you look up there, it's it's incredibly bad. Oi. I'm, I'm still uh, saying over and over again in my head going for that assault grand that was a mistake you know the second one definitely a mistake the first one uh, no not really not really not in hindsight i thought that it was a mistake back then but I was. oh well but not now enemy forces have taken our territory we have lost control over victory point. He's dead! Take down! He can't move! Right there! Watch out! Come on, point to them! Oh, that Panzer Pioneer has so little HP. And Lady Ritsu. Ah, uh, she could be more aggressive here with her stewards. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Don't be afraid to send the stewards in there and put the herd on. <sighs> we shall double our defensive efforts of the Italian if, motherland. If only she knew that Latouf had no AT besides snares, then these stewards here would be used way more aggressively. Okay, I think um, Lady Ritsu should stop building stewards now and then just check up and get the Crusaders in here. Got else for us? Or even Matilda's, <laughs> if she wants to be very evil against the deck. <sighs> Normally, against the Matilda's as deck, the flag 88 is screwed. 
Lady Ritsu has gone for Indian artillery. So that flag can be flattened quickly. Not to mention all the side blockers here in the middle of the map is going to make it difficult for the flag 88. So yeah, Latouf is... Uh, is uh, not doing so hot, but again, the, um, the stewards here could be used or what? <laughs> uh, another instance of the fat fingers. <laughs> All right, men. Pro smoke grenade onto that friendly squad. Yes, sir. Grenade assault it is. No, you fools. Smoke. <laughs> mm. A capture point is being taken from us. Fat finger gaming. Uh, the truth is now going Panzer Arame. Yeah, but I hope Lady Ritsu has watched this uh, replay here and just come on, get those stewards going, go ham. You have not seen any AT from your opponent besides the two L6s that you uh, defeated. So go ham. At least for the moment. I'm looking at the Panzer Commander me there, eh? Hmm. Two boys AT rifles. Yeah, it's fine. It'll help once uh, the vehicles they come out. Victory point lost. Come on, Stuarts. Go in. Get the ham. And, um, no, she's not really. She's using them very defensively here. And she could have exerted way more pressure if she used those stewards more aggressively here. Uh, I think she just respects her opponent a bit too much here. Uh. Either that or uh, she's paying a bit of micro tax here. Uh, yeah. Being too. Having tunnel vision here on the middle of the map. Okay, there we are. Stuart's now moving out. And she's also checking up. Very good. Panzer 3 on station. The enemy has the advantage here. Let's see where it's going. Over there, eh? I am not psychic, but I can pause the game and tell where the units are going. What the heck? Oh, that's why she was so hesitant to use them. She has now refitted them got a full refund and now she is making it rain going for a crusader and she even had some guards locked in as well but yeah look at this but that was why she uh she was so hesitant to put them uh, on the front line where perhaps there were some at she wanted that refund but still Still think she could have gotten a lot more out of them if she had used them more aggressively. Of course, there would have been some risk. As uh, she, there may have been some AT, but it wasn't the case. Uh, okay. Crusader tank responding. Soon there'll be another one. If not a Matilda. Or, man, she has so much manpower. She could even invest into uh, armored vehicle training. There they are, guards.
Right. Tank upgraded. Bigger gun. Oh, yeah. And now Latouf's got her in a triple cap. She's making a move towards the middle. Oh, and she has gone for double six pounders. Mm. Does she still have the mortar? Yes. So I don't know if the mortar can actually level these buildings here. Sure, it can destroy them, but actually level them so she can open up for her AT guns while the opponent has these choke points to enter the map on or enter the middle on Commandant, the enemy has 300 points a victory point is being taken from us now Matilda okay a little bit of everything out of range just out of range here six pounder though open up Oh, yo, 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 those pegrins spreading infantry. All right, good enough. The bleed uh, has stopped. Yes. There we have. Hey, we have gods on standby. Please. Don't stand in green cover when there's a flamer uh, shooting at you. Guards, it says they're generalists, but as they are armed with Thompsons, they do best in close combat against infantry, where that Thompson deals the most damage, as you can see by that accuracy line that were behind me a second ago. Uh. That's the leak, yep. Leak has arrived. Gonna be there to help counter the uh, Indian mortar. Could be a grenade on its way. Yep, there we are. I hope for uh, Lady Ruth's sake that the church will just crumble. Yep, there we are. Still. A, uh, a blocker meaning that there is this narrow choke point here for the two to enter the town square with making it a little easier for the AT guns oh wait what hey forward reinforcements eh six hundred and forty HP for the Panzer free a two with the smoke upgrade and that means that these tanks has both smoke and smoke launchers which is actually intended um, despite it not being mentioned in the uh, the uh, what's it called patch notes and what's this airburst airburst <laughs> No, what an attack round from the two taking out the Matilda. Well, that's a flamethrower. Don't mind if I do. Yoink, double flamers. We got our own Grastatoris. Well, they're not Italian engineers, they're British engineers, but almost same. While Lady Litz Rizzo may have taken a tank loss, she's still holding most of the map. Not to mention that she's about to get a triple cap once again on the two. That's nice. Oh, this is not worth it. Run. Yeah, there we go. Running away. And that's something big here. The new Matilda. Did she go for any training ground upgrades here? No. I'd love to see her invest into the armor. 
armored training. Pretty much improves the tank all around. Well, not damage, but oh, wait, she oh, she's going for team weapons. Oh, I think she would have benefited more from armor training as you know they are mobile units that she can use to go anywhere where she wants, respond quickly to any capping on the sides. Whereas the team weapons, yeah, well, they're used for defense and not that much offense. Uh, we, we'll see. We'll see if her team weapons here get some uh, get some work done. Oh. That's the sound I heard. For a second I was wondering, that sounds like a flare, but who fired the flare and where? Oh. The Vickers over here, if it was over here assisting, it would have been so good. So bad versus Latouf. <laughs> well, for Latouf. <laughs> but then again, it's it's on guard duty. Oh. Proximity alarm. Near our victory point. Guess who's a pancake? You and you. You're all pancakes. Poked too deep with the armor. Oh no, she's got the Gurkhas up there. Just idling. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, I suspect. Lady Ritsu is not a tag map user because I have the exact same issue where units are forgotten and you are less likely to forget them if you just once in a while remember to use the tag map because they could have been pivotable in uh, this engagement down here. They could have perhaps gotten a D crew on the pack gun here which would have meant an XP reset as you can see it is vet 2 that would have been great it's even close to vet 3 and yeah they're, they're still standing there out in the open out of cover well now they can get to be oh okay. there they are they're moving Oh, she's actually winning. Wow. Um, well, hold, hold the phone here. She's about to win big time. Uh, they're, they're pinned. Uh -oh. Working on this. Working on that. Get. The oh, yeah. She's got to stop this. She he doesn't have it up for propaganda war, which would have been nice there. Oh, boy. Boy. And Lentouf. He was defeated. He was outfoxed. Eh? But yeah, Latouf, he made some... Uh, very bad plays in the early game here with the uh, Solgrins uh, that were charging in. <laughs> I'm still convinced that they should have been uh, Panzerjägers. Oh, well. GG's were to be had if you were entertained and uh, loved that the underdog or the underfox won this one, then leave a like. Dislike the video if you disliked it, uh, consider subscribing for more. But yeah, have a good one, boys and girls. See ya.